Welcome everybody back to Subnautica on Hardcore. We are here on the Aurora still. Jeez, it feels good like you've been here forever. But um, I went back to around the lab to look see if I missed a PDA or something. I did miss a PDA. We just literally got this lab access code. So here's the lab access code. 6043. So let's go do that real quick. Open the sesame. Here it is. Integrate the new PDA data. Story, okay. What else is in here of note? Pols repulsion, okay. Acquired. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Okay, some decoration stuff, which, I don't know, should we take it? I don't have room for it. Um, <clears throat> grab some air when let's head back to Captain's Quarters. Air, yeah, please, be something here. Rumble, rumble. Um, okay. Well, let's go back. This is going to be fun having to go all the way back through the ship all willy nilly like this. Wait, how do you even... I forgot how to even go back. Oh, here. This part gives me anxiety. You're up and down and around and over and under. Getting stuck. Jeez, it's scary. Head back. Yeah, you you don't need to clear those, but could. All right, to the captain's quarters and get out of dodge. Ow. Ooh, the Aurora. Captain's log. Not even an audio log, so... I'm just gonna play it while we search, but... Wall shelves. Data downloads. Okay then. I'm capsule. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. We're done. We're done, Zo. It's time to go home. We said going home. No. Ah, <gasps> ow. Scared me. Stinking fall damage. Yeah, I guess we have to go through this. I'd rather just go through this way. It's less claustrophobic. Don't be phobic, man. Don't be phobic. That's rude. Be claustrophobic. All right, let's get out of here. I'm so ready to get out of here. 
I did not think it would take me three episodes to get through here. Well, more like two and a half. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Pretty sure I got everything, so. I just want to be done with this place and get on to my regular exploration. You want to go, punk? Yeah, how do you like me now? How do you like me now, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. What I thought, you little punk. I guess going back the way... Going back through that claustrophobic area wouldn't be so bad because this one feels more roundabout to get out. It feels more roundabout, but. What ifs? Sure is lucky that uh, the captain's quarters wasn't part, on this sh part of this ship and got destroyed. Whatever. You're not even worth the time or effort. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh, it's like... Creepy. It's a creepy. I think I'm just gonna... I just run? Run. Catch me if you can. Actually, he probably could catch me. Home, 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 home. We still need, um, like, lots of stuff for the Cyclops. Well, I wouldn't say lots, but we need the engine. Like, two more or one more. And then we need the bridge. Two more or one more. I can't remember. And we can build the prawn suit now, if we really wanted to. Ah, uh, feels good to be home. So good. Now we have a super full load. I don't know what I'm even going to do with it all. <sighs> I'm still like nervous about this rebreather situation. About the radiation. We'll keep it, keep it in our inventory here. And then we'll test it. Later. Also, would kind of want to take the propulsion can with me, but that's just going to take up more space. What in the... Keep it in there with that. Alright, and then... A bunch of other crap. I need to eat and I play this message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. Yeah, let's put some soda. Good for you. Now I'm... Cringe. We're scanning for somewhere to park. No, you're not it. You're cringe. Oh shoot, we only have one water. Wait, I thought we had a bunch of water. Check the storage. I wouldn't say a bunch, but we have a storage modular for when we get the prawn suit. Alright, what should we make a priority? Should we make a priority getting the Cyclops first or make the prawn suit first? That's the question. Those are the real questions we must ask ourselves. Oh, the nutrient box we got. Nice. Uh, you know, I have rim. I should put the decorations and crap in this one. Eventually, I'm going to put my kitty... Oh, yeah. I was going to put it up, but the kitty poster goes in my Cyclops. My precious Cyclops. Let's make that a priority, guys. We have to. Cell. Take two with us. Yeah, it doesn't hurt having an extra power cell in hand, so. Boom and boom. We have an extra battery on us, which we probably should have, like, two. That. That. There. Two batteries on us. Two power cells on us. Oh, we have a toy on our inventory. I have no idea why. Okay. I think we're all clean and clear. We can make the bed now, so we don't have to wait for morning. That's good. 
What was here? Oh yeah, the Reparo. Nope. No, no. Reparo. Too low. Since we don't have the water filtration machine yet, I'm gonna go use that back bedroom for a bedroom. Ah, uh, fiber mesh. No. <laughs> well. Hmm. You know what we could do? We also could make the grow bed if or an outdoor grow bed. I'm thinking we should make a uh, start an outdoor grow bed and um, plant all the stuff that we need in this zone because we're not really super close to all that stuff. So we'll make one that, one grow bed that has, um, yeah, the fiber mesh or the the seaweed or whatever, and then we'll make another grow bed for the uh, gel sacks. I can't remember if I brought those with me. And I also want to go out and explore and look for um, the rest of the Cyclops. Yeah, we did. Well, we brought one. But with this one, we could cut it and make a whole... It'll take a while, but we can make a whole bed with just one. It takes a long while, though. Um, okay, so... Yeah, it would be nice to have a, a source of lube... And rubber down here, so we have to keep going back and forth. Um, and I can't sleep because we don't have the mesh. So I think our first priority should be let's go back, get some of the remainder stuff that we left there. Also, we could get our seeds for the indoor grow bed, so we can start growing food. So let's make a trip, another trip. I know. Stop talking about it and go. We'll talk about it as we go. Um, go back to our, tr our life pod, grab a bunch of stuff, come back, we'll start a garden. Ooh. Oh, I think I have this one already. Shoot. Oh my gosh, what the deuce? No, what the deuce? Right when I got out, he banged. What, there's two of them? Uh oh, oh no, we're down 22%. Oh, I didn't realize. Shoot. Tactical retreat. Holy crap, man. I'm just going to dock it. Holy smokes. I did not realize we were at 22%. Dang, son of a nut. He gave me a jump scare there. Jeez. I got out. Actually, the second I hit E to get out, he, he banged on my Seamoth. And then when I tried to get back in, I was in the stupid inventory. I hate that so much. That ha that's happened to me many times, especially when there was a... <sighs> Big baddie trying to get me. Holy crap, man. Talk about freaking jump scare. I think we have that one already, though. The... The, um... Cyclops... Hole? The prunes we take? Hmm. Some hard stuff there. Okay. Is it? Oh, yeah. So we already have the hole. We just need... Oh, it's just one and one. One engine, one bridge. We're close. So close. So I don't need to get out. Let's just go straight. All right. Take two. I see those dudes, though, on the way. I'm going to ram you. I have enough health now. I can afford to ram. Team Ramrod. Oh, there you are. Yeah, come here. This is payback for scaring me and for biting me. You <gasps> 31! We're at 31! Are you kidding me? We're at 31! Oh my gosh! From 100 to 31. Oh my gosh. No. No, 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 no. I think we're, I think we're safe. Way up here. The only thing that could get us way up here is the Mr. Big Bad Meanie, and I don't hear him. Although it doesn't necessarily mean you're safe. In fact, I say you're more safe when you can hear him. That way you know where he's at. When you can't hear him, that's a bad sign. But usually he's not in this zone, right above this zone. Usually. I've seen him wander. I've actually seen him in the shallows before. Yeah. Oh my word. Did you just see that, guys? What fish took me down to 80 from 100? What? How come the Seamoth seems so fragile? Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I've never experienced it being this fragile before. Not ever. And I've rammed a lot of sea creatures in my day. <laughs> a lot of baddies, and I've never experienced it being this fragile. Almost lost it, man. And again, with hardcore, you can't... You can't save whenever you want. You can only save and quit, which is stupid. Yeah, you really don't even need, like, oh, I'll, you cut it and then yada yada yada. Literally just having six of those. Four, five, okay. So we have that. Of course, then I won't be able to make my fiber. Ah, uh, we probably should. I want to make my bed ASAP. I don't want to wait for the stuff to grow. So we need... To get in and look before I look at it. Alright, let's see. What was the bed? Oh. Need that fiber mesh so it's one, so two to make one. Okay. Alright, we have that. Now let's grab a few things from here and then head back. Well, we'll grab, definitely grab the seeds. I have room for it, man. This stinks. Not much for anything. Oh, that's a lot of water. Nice. I still, I still have some stuff. Whoa! Do that to me. There's the seeds. And switch. All right, let's go. We're full. We have the seeds. Actually, what we could do, since it's taking up so much space, turn it into stuff now, right? Makes sense. Fiber mesh. There we go. Now we have room to take more stuff. Make the gel sack, that way it's faster. And the lithium and the copper. And one rubber. Alright. Everything else stays here. I can farm pretty much now that I have the seeds and stuff. And I have a source of rubber. Or I will have a source of rubber and loop. I pretty much am set now. Oh man. I still can't believe that little fish took me down from 100 to 80 health. And then those sharks... I think I, I rammed him one... No, I rammed him two times. But he also bit me, too. But he took me down to 30? Like, that's just nuts. I remember this thing being a lot more durable. I was able to ram him. What the... 77? What? Are you kidding me? From 100 to 77 this time. From a fish. Oh... Good grief, man. Can you imagine your sea moth being destroyed from a fish? Good night. I would like to search this mushroom forest, too. Just need one more bridge fragment and one more engine. Then we can make our cyclops, which I really want to do. I love me some cyclops action. Oh. Kappa. There's quite a bit of copper around here, too. That's good. Right there, too. You know, I'm thinking about just not destroying it, but getting rid of this platform. I was thinking, oh, I want it. But now I'm thinking that I don't want that there. Or that one. That way it's easier for me to get to my base here. All right. Home sweet home. Jeez, Louise. So we can make a bed now, make an indoor and outdoor grow bed, which I need more. I need to unload first. Let's see. So sick of a full inventory. <laughs> don't consume it. Oh, whatever you do, don't consume. That would suck. I would have to go all the way back to the island to get new ones. All the way in the back. I might need to do some farming for titanium soon, which we know where to go now for tons. 
Tons and tons. All right, let's make the bed. And then, ow. Probably going to end up moving it later when we get the water filtration machine. But for now, I'm going to put it right there. And also, I'm going to put the grow bed in here, too. Which is going to stay. Once, uh, If I do get the water, well, I will get the water filtration. But I'm thinking that if we do make this little water filtration room slash food room, where is it? Then we'll just keep indoor grow bed. But we're going to be keeping it in here anyway. We'll put one right there, one right there. Water filtration will go there. That way it's symmetrical. I like to have the bulbo fruit. But I like the look of the lantern fruit. It's really cool. So this one will be the watermelon. And then this one will be... Oh, we need more. Get away from my base. I hope he doesn't ruin it being this close. I gotta take care of him now, guys. Alright, the fight's on. Got him. Alright, this is dangerous to do. But this is my technique for fighting any of these big guys. So you chop them a little bit, and then you pull out your... Do this while he's still stuck. Basically, you're you're refreshing it so he doesn't get escape while you're mid cut, and then he'll shock you. It'd be nice if we had the good knife. We need to build an upgrade station that way we can have the hot knife. This is my technique for fighting any of the large creatures in the game. Takes a while though. You gotta watch your oxygen. But right now I don't have the rebreather on, so it's going by super fast. 40 seconds. Because I, I took it off because I thought the radiation was okay. Alright, we gotta... I can't believe he's still alive. You gotta get air. you, you know, die? I don't want you wandering around my base. Word. Still alive. I don't remember being this tough. Maybe the knife really does make a difference. I know usually it does take a while. Chopping for days, man. Uh oh. Whew, that was close. And that's why you refresh it often. Use is going on. He's still alive? No! I can't believe he's still alive, man. No. Holy smokes, man. We really need to make the better knife. another one the problem with this as well is it's kind of hard to see your surroundings so hopefully there's no other bad guys 44 seconds there he goes finally I think holy crap man what does it take for the station upgrade station don't have it yet. Oh no. Oh no. D 
you dead for realsies? Yes, finally. Jeez. Chase. What is that? Eggy? Hmm, it's an eggy. Um, we need to find a spot for our outdoor. So, mm, we could put it down here. The problem with the the kelp is they grow large. They're tall and they're super bright. So with six of them, it's going to be really bright. I think right here would be interesting. I need more. Yeah, that's indoor anyway. I really need to get the rebreather going. Why does the outdoor one take less titanium than the indoor? How does that make sense? Should be reversed. <sighs> Alright. I gotta put that stinking mask on, man. I'm tired of this. Stank? Stank root, man? We're gonna need two grow beds. One for the creep vine and then one for... The other. Don't eat it. Switch. Here we gotta go get the little other one. Gotta get a rebreather going. I hope that we don't get hurt by the radiation, though. We shouldn't, but you'd think. I'm tired of like our oxygen going by so fast. All right. So far, we're not taking radiation radiation damage but we were taking radiation damage even though we fixed the stuff we fixed the leak and we were still taking radiation damage when we were near the aurora so that leads me to believe that it uh we have to wait quite a while for the radiation to clear up all right so that's going so we'll have lube and rubber soon good source of that we need to build another one though for the gel sacks Then we need to build another indoor one and get this, which I should get that stuff going now. Oh, uh, we're going to have to go farming, guys. And I want to go to the, near the, ra the Aurora because there's good stuff over there, but you know what that means, radiation. Ah, uh, yep, we're fresh out of titanium. We have the bed now, so we could sleep once it starts getting dark. Turn it back to day. Switch. And what you do here is cut it, and plant the seeds, and then once those grow, you cut all four of them, and then you can have the whole grow bed. Okay, so it's really hard to tell in this cave what time of day it is. I think it's night. Yeah, tell here. Yeah, there we go. It's night. All right, we need titanium that on us we should just make a trip over there to the aurora we'll put back on the the helmet i'm gonna take the propulsion cannon out though because i want to be able to there's lots of the scrap and it takes four spaces one two three four i can only carry four in each eight so i'm gonna put the extra okay oh i can't well that away Two and two. Do I really need two and two on me at all times? No. I should just have one backup of each. There and there. Okay, we're good now. We're taking this with us just in case there's radiation, so we'll sleep and we'll go. Listen. We already... Yeah, we saw it. We already got this stuff. Okay. Sleep. I don't know why we're getting that now, because we already did it. We already did it, lady. Okay. Alright, sleepy time. Still in my wetsuit. Man, that's got to feel good. Being in your wetsuit and sleeping. With no covers. Okay. Let's go. Wait. Not ready yet. Okay. Come on, we're burning daylight here. I want to be able to take eight pieces of scrap. So is this side... Boom. Alright. Now it's empty. 
There. All right, let's go. I'm taking the radiation helmet just in case. Hopefully, we don't need it though. Okay. So we got to be careful of radiation. The moment we do it, we'll have to switch. Which we fixed the reactor. So the only thing I can think of is it takes time. I honestly don't remember, like, in the past when I played, how long it took for the radiation to disappear once we fixed it. Yeah, it's fixed, so we should be good, but we're getting closer. Let's see what happens. So far, we're so good. So far. There's a thing over here. Are so good. I guess we'll know for sure once we get in the water. Uh, oh, maybe it's maybe we're clear. Maybe it's done. It's over. I think it might be. All right, cool. Then we could put finally put away the radiation helmet. Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to carry it around, but I also don't want to be somewhere and or that and they're like, oh. Radiation damage, radiation damage. Oh, you're dead. You died from radiation. I thought there was a way I can access my inventory. Okay, so I can take four more from my other storage. I'm going to go this way because you know what's the other way. This, oh, transmitter fragment. Cool. We're going to need that for our thermal power reactor. Acquired. There's just tons here, guys. I also know another place where you can get a lot, but... There. So four on that side, four on this side, right? Yep. And now I'm going to fill up my inventory with tight, with this stuff, and then we'll go back home. Scrap it all, and uh, continue building our base up. And then after that, I want to look for the Cyclops stuff. We can fit exactly one more. Nice. So we have 12 pieces. Savage. Metal Savage. Let's go. Let's go home. Short and quick. It's not that far away. Not that far at all. Let's go down and scan the bottom of the mushroom forest on our way back home. Hello. In the lookout. There's tons of copper over here, so once we get the prawn suit with the drill arm. Oh yeah, look at that copper. Copper over there. Lots of eggs too. Don't you dare ruin my thing. Right, looking. Oh, I hear him. I hear Mr. Mr. Hangry. He's hangry. He's a hangry boy. Stabilize, stabilize. Where are these pieces, man? It's one and one. Just lingering. The game's. T oh, you kidding me? We lost 20. We just lost 20 damage again. Alright, look around before you get out. Oh. Just missing one engine fragment and one bridge fragment. There are you. There, there, there. What? Who that? Who there? Where is it? Oh. I have looked everywhere around here. Salt. 
Uh, just you wait. Actually, I... Yeah, we could kill him. I really want to get the upgrade station fragment. We could kill him with my method, but he has buddies, so... Yeah. I think the infected ones are just so disgusting. Oh, is that it? <gasps> no, no. Oh, I don't have it on me. What the deuce? Where are you? Oopsie. Oh my gosh. Are right, you dead now, sucker? You dead now? I'll knife you. Full charge, All right? Yeah, eat that sucker. Might as well. Scan his dead body. And it is bridge. No, it's the wait. We need the bridge. Yes. All right. All we have left is engine. Yes. Oh, I'm getting excited. Oh yeah, we can't go because I used the thing. <laughs> Be careful not to get your sea uh, moth or anything. That okay. Otherwise, you'll be stuck. All right, so just need the engine. Oh, we're so close. I can taste it. Tastes salty. Tastes like salt water. Well, let's just go home and dump. We have a lot to deconstruct, and then we'll go out and look for the. What the heck? There's an egg on there. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, those are growing nice. They're coming in full this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Let's see. Get that back on there. I have a lot of deconstructing to do. Wish you could queue it up. That's like one thing I wish they would have done. like Or modders. A way to queue stuff. Like, so like say for example. I click this titanium. Four times. Because it says times four. Because that's how many I could do it. And then it just goes, you know, still go through the loading and whatever, but it just automatically moves on to the next one. What they could have done is make like a little thing that pops out, like a little shelf that pops out, right? And that's where each item goes uh, that's in the queue. That way it can, it, it can actually make sense that it would be holding an item in there. Then you just come here and you click, take all, whatever that's in there. Would be cool, but you know, whatevs. What ifs, man? All right, so where are we going to put? I don't know where we're going to put the second grow bed, but where are you going to put the second outdoor grow bed? This is going to be the lantern fruit. All right, are these ready? Nice. So basically, make sure. Okay, I made this mistake so many times. I'll tell you guys right now. This tip. Do not cut seeds if you don't have enough room because if you do, you this you won't get the seeds, all the seeds that you're able to get. It'll just disappear into nothingness. Finish. Let's just do this first. Okay. Where did I put fruit in here? Alright, then we'll deal with making the other grow bed here in a sec. So. Which, there we go. Once that grows, we'll plant more. So this. Four. Do you have enough room? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Enough room. Well, at least three of them. Oh, we could do all of them. So we have four spaces left. Perfect. All right, now we just replant all of them, and then once those grow, we'll finish off the. Oh, we're full now. Okay, then we can just start eating them. So what you do is you, let's say it's all full, you eat one. Or no, you chop one and eat three. Yeah, chop one, eat three. How you do it? All right. So I don't know, guys. Should we take the radiation helmet? Put it away. Oh, what if like we go somewhere and there's still radiation? That's why I should store it. Store it, just in case. You never know. 
You never know. And boom. We're good on titanium now. No, no, no. And that site near the Aurora still had tons more. Tons more we could have grabbed. Not only that, as I know another spot that's pretty good with uh, titanium. And it's actually that way. Pretty close to me, so... That. And you know what? Like, so far this base, with what we have now, we don't need any other power source. Besides our solar panels that we have. But if and when we do get the uh, water filtration, that's going to draw a lot of power, so we'll probably need the thermal for that. Alright. We have a full locker. Plus some. We're gonna need it too for the Cyclops though, once it's once we get the final piece. Just need the final engine room piece. Look at this. We're getting so full. We're gonna have to build some more lockers. It's a good problem to have. But the problem that I don't like having is having to sort this later on. <laughs> uh yeah, that's good. I will just shutty. All right, fluid intake. I don't want to use my fifty. I don't think I have any other. Shoot. Uh, shoot. I right, had other water. Uh, that's not good. I'll have to use my good water, which I didn't want to use it. I like it because it's it gives you was it fifty. 50 and it only takes up one slot whereas the little ones you need to carry a bunch with you uh shoot how are these things doing pretty bright but they're ready used to be able to eat these i thought maybe that's the subnautica blue zero yeah. That is so overly bright. Oversaturation. Alright, well, I think this is where I'm going to leave the video for today. Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. I really need to organize. Maybe I'll do that uh, when I'm not recording because it's just boring. Uh, about the water situation, what am I going to do? Wish there was fruit ready. Let's go check real quick. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Make a save as well. Nope, not ready. I'm going to have to use it. A good water. Shoot. Have to, though. And I have to eat that. And I don't need two first aid kits on me. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to save and quit. Can only save and quit on hardcore. It'd be nice to save whenever you want because just in case of bugs or glitches or crashes or whatever. I mean, even if you could save whenever you want, your save file still disappears if you die. So it's like, what's the point of restricting our ability to save whenever we want? Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN tots off for now. Take care. God bless you guys. Next time with some more Subnautica. I almost said below zero. <laughs> Subnautica on hardcore. See you later.